got the snapper out here this is 6.5 horsepower this is a 25 inch cut and this is what I used to cut my yard here front and back side um, I do use a walking lawnmower for some things but uh, for the most part I use this lawnmower um, what's happening is it's really hard to start I'm having to use a pole to start here the cord and um, it's I mean I may have to pull this sometimes 40 times uh, it's like 90 degrees out here so uh, it's really dreadful to uh, cut grass with this thing so I'm gonna try to get the carburetor cleaned up here uh, so it's easier to start once I do get started it runs pretty well um, so uh, maybe we can correct that today uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and move this to a better location so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull the line out here from the tank there's no gas of course in the tank I'm gonna be removing the tank here in just a little bit there's the carburetor so we're going to remove the uh, air filter cover, take that off, and I said it was hard to start, I was always having to pour gas in there, and it still was very difficult to start, so let's put this aside. We gotta take the carburetor off here, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, remove the tank here. To remove the tank, I've already got the gas line um, separated. Just gonna push this tank up, pull it. All right, so uh, with the uh, two bolts here, now you can use a screwdriver. you can use a wrench um, I don't really have either one of those I can use because I've got a limited toolbox here where I'm at so I'm just trying to make the best with what I have um, I decided to use a vice grip on this bottom one this bottom was really hard to get to so I had to remove cover solenoid cover here plastic panel So I could get this vice grip in here. And I was surprised how easy it turned. It was not tight already. So that's how I got that one off. I guess I'll go ahead and go with the vice grips on the top one as well. Just try not to strip. Uh, anything out here easy these aside so we don't lose them okay okay so here's the deal there's a brace right here it doesn't even have a nut, uh, screw in it it should have been screwed right there I'll try to find something later for that this rubber hose here needs to come off like that Okay, now for the linkage there, there's the Z-Bend. We'll go ahead and take that off. I really can't see under here how it's connected to the governor. Uh, this one, this one anyway. But uh, I'm just shifting the... Okay, Z-Bend is off there. This one here. All I'm going to do is just uh, use my other hand there and remove that. Okay, this little, this little wire here should be connected right here. 
it's in the hole, but it's not. So we'll be reconnecting that later. But for this right here, I'm just turning the carburetor. Okay. So we've got the carburetor completely freed up. So now we can take the bowl off. Probably go ahead and take that rubber gas line off of there, make it easier to handle. Just going to take some heavy duty engine degreaser. Try to clean up the outside first before I take the bowl off. Carburetor's uh, really a lot cleaner. So next, let's take this bowl off here. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna. That's where it was set at the needle. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, count how many times, and we're gonna go ahead and tighten it before we take the bowl off and before we clean everything. So let's see, let's uh... Alright, so it's only one full turn. Okay, so uh... It'll be easy to remember. So let's go ahead and take the nut off here. Use two hands for this. Okay, so I got that loosened. There may be a rubber uh, gasket, so I don't want to I'll be careful that I don't dent or bend that. I believe it only goes on one way or no I take that back you can put it on I think you can put it on uh, anyway so uh, that's, that's good I'll clean that up let's go ahead and take this bowl off there'll be a pin right here slide that out Um, that doesn't look very good right there. I was hoping to do this without having to replace any parts. Uh, but I don't know if I'll, that'll be the case or not. Okay, next I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and try to remove the jet in here. That thing is really tight. Okay, so I've had an update since uh, the last recording. 
Uh, what happened, I was trying to take the uh, the jet out of this old carburetor here, had the bulb off, and was trying to trying to take the screw out, and I stripped the screw there. So uh, after I stripped, stripped the screw on that, it was pretty much game over for me. I wasn't going to be able to get that out to clean the jet. And at that point, decided to go ahead and just stop and uh, stop wasting time and go ahead and order another carburetor. So um, went on went on uh, Google Images because I didn't know the number of the carburetor and just found one that matched up. Um, I'll give you the number of that later. And I'm uh, this came in about three or four days, around $30. I'm just matching it up for the first time. It looks really close. Identical, really. So, uh, I did match it up right. At least from what I can tell here. Gotta take this off of the old one, put it on here. But, uh, looks pretty good. It really does. Gave me a couple gaskets. So I'm going to go ahead and yeah, I was wondering how many times they have this uh, uh, screwed out here. So I'm probably going to uh, screw that in and count the turns just to kind of get an idea where they're where they're starting from. I think mine is like one here. Uh, typically it's about two one and a half, two. So we're gonna see what they have here. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the old one and put it on this new one. Okay, so I'm gonna count the turns on this needle valve here. One and a, one and a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to turn it back out. Got the gas line fitting on. I think we can go ahead and install it now. Alright, we're going to try to put the linkage on now. This little small one here has to go back in that small, very small hole here, right here. Right here. All right, now we're gonna put the hose back in place. Okay, hose is in place. I've got the screw I need to put in there. Uh, I think I've got it anyway, but for now, let's go ahead and bolt it um, to the engine here. I've got my new gasket here. Let me grab that. All right, gasket is in place. Start to screw.
All right, so I'm going to grab my, uh, well, in this case, uh, vice grips and tighten these bolts a little more. Uh, I've got to make sure that the rubber hose, which came out, I've got to put that back on. See, it's out right there. I've got to slide that back on. Need to find the screw and bolt it to this uh, brace here. I can find the screw. Now, I took the, this new carburetor did have a brace on it. I took that off. I decided to opt for the old brace. Let me get... Yeah, I left the uh, old brace on, so I need to find the, uh, see I can put the rubber boot on from back here actually. So there we go, we're on there. So I need to find that bolt and put it in the carburetor. Using the uh, new screw from the new carburetor. This was the screw that came off the brace bolt. So I'm just using it here. Bolts now tightened down. Got the gas line on here. This has been a really easy swap here. This carburetor is matched up really well. Linkage is looking good. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see what we have left over. Just got that brace bolt and another gasket. Again, I will give the uh, carburetor the number on it. All right, that's it. So, uh, get the gas tank, put that on. And maybe I'll be able to cut some grass here. Here, the two bolts in the air cover match up well on the carburetor.
so it ran pretty well I had to adjust the needle valve I actually had to open that up to about uh, two and a half turns I believe or maybe even more to finally get it running uh, right with the blade engaged um, so uh, I'll probably have to adjust it again one more time when I when I drive it or start it again and uh, run it but uh, yeah uh, I, I drove it around in fifth gear wide open uh, for probably 40 minutes straight and um, you know ran pretty pretty good pretty strong so uh, starting is still hard so we'll see the second time you know probably in a week or so when I start cutting some more grass but um, I think the car will work out. I, I got to resolve the starting problem, so I'll continue working on that and making updates as I go along in other videos. But uh, yeah, carburetor fit very well, and uh, I think it's going to work out fine. So thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great day out there, and take care.